of the first things that I want you to learn in Web Fundamentals is how to work with a web server. We're going to come back to this over and over again throughout the semester, but to make sure that everything else that we're going to do is going to work, we have to get your cPanel set up. cPanel stands for Control Panel. You've each been assigned a username, which should be your first initial and up to the first seven letters of your last name. I have a demo account which is just called Demo, and everybody's initial password is JavaScript. And then I'm going to click Login, and it will have me put in my old password. and a new password that I'm just going to use for this. And it's not real secure because it's just something that I don't care. I will probably never use this site again. It's just to teach people how to use things. So I'm going to change my password. Oh, and it doesn't like that because that's the new password. Okay, change our password now. There we go. So that shows changing your password. That's the first thing that you have to do. Now I'm going to click on Home and it's going to ask me to authenticate. So my username is demo and my password is dot 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 and I could tell it to remember it but I don't really want to. I do recommend that you watch the video but there's no point in me recording the video for you. I'm going to give you a quick tour of what you can see you can do here in the control panel. You can get support help, you can change your password, you can go into your account management. There's all sorts of tutorials and preferences you can set up here. There are scripts you can use. We have categories for blogs. We're going to be using this to add WordPress and some other things in here. In the next video I'm going to show you how to set up an email account using web email. You actually have an email address. You can use it or not use it. We can do backups and control FTP accounts. We can do logs, look at logs of our latest visitors. We have additional security we can add in. We can add subdomains, databases, and different software services. We also have different advanced things that we can do. In this class, we're predominantly going to be working with mail, which we'll do for our first exercise, files, and we will at some point use one of the wizards here where we're going to add WordPress. We will get into our file manager, and please note, whenever we go in here, we're going into the folder public underscore HTML. That will become important later. If you go there to look at it, it's empty right now, and that's fine. So I'm going to go back to Home, which is just in the other tab up here, and this is pretty much what Control Panel is, what it looks like. You need to be in here, you need to set your password, you're just checking to make sure that everything works. Now I have been known to have typos when creating passwords. Usually it's an error if your last name is short and I, it will automatically try to add MCC onto your username and sometimes when I'm tired I don't catch it. So please, if you've tried it two or three times and it doesn't work, just send me an email and I'll get it straightened out for you right away. I try very hard to avoid those errors, but usually one or two people per semester runs into me having an error when I created their account. At any time, if you need your password reset, I can do that. Just shoot me an email. Try not to wait to the last minute because sometimes it will take me a couple hours to get to the computer where I can do that. And so that's logging into your cPanel. You want to do that before you go on to the next step, which is setting up your webmail account.